Welcome to this video on Riemann surfaces. In this series, we will explore the fascinating world of Riemann surfaces, their properties, and their applications in various fields of mathematics. To begin with, let's define what Riemann surfaces are. A Riemann surface is a complex manifold of one complex dimension. In simpler terms, it is a surface that can be described by a single complex variable. The concept of Riemann surfaces was introduced by the German mathematician Bernhard Riemann in the mid-19th century. Riemann surfaces are used to study complex functions, which are functions that take complex numbers as inputs and outputs. One of the most important properties of Riemann surfaces is that they allow us to extend the concept of a complex function to a multi-valued function. This means that a single complex function can have multiple values, which can be represented on a Riemann surface. Riemann surfaces have numerous applications in mathematics, physics, and engineering. They are used to study algebraic curves topology and number theory. They also have applications in quantum mechanics, string theory, and fluid dynamics. In the next segment, we will explore the basic properties of Riemann surfaces and how they are constructed. Riemann surfaces have several important properties that make them unique. Firstly, they are compact, which means that they are finite in size and have no boundary. Secondly, they are connected, which means that any two points on the surface can be connected by a continuous path. The construction of Riemann surfaces involves gluing together complex planes or spheres in a specific way. This process is known as the Riemann surface construction. To construct a Riemann surface, we start with a complex plane or sphere and then identify points on the surface that are related by a specific function. This function is known as the transition function and it defines how the different parts of the surface are glued together. The transition function must satisfy certain conditions to ensure that the resulting surface is a Riemann surface. These conditions include being holomorphic, which means that the function is differentiable and has no singularities. There are several ways to construct Riemann surfaces, including the algebraic method, the geometric method, and the uniformization method. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages, and the choice of method depends on the specific problem being studied. In the next segment, we will explore the different types of Riemann surfaces and their properties. There are several types of Riemann surfaces, each with its own unique properties. The most basic type of Riemann surface is the Riemann sphere, which is a one-dimensional complex manifold that can be visualized as a sphere. Another type of Riemann surface is the elliptic curve, which is a two-dimensional complex manifold that can be visualized as a torus. Elliptic curves have important applications in cryptography and number theory. Hyperbolic surfaces are another type of Riemann surface, which are two-dimensional complex manifolds with a constant negative curvature. They have important applications in geometry and topology. Algebraic curves are another type of Riemann surface, which are complex manifolds that can be described by algebraic equations. They have important applications in algebraic geometry and number theory. The classification of Riemann surfaces is an active area of research in mathematics, and there are many open questions and conjectures in this field. In the next segment, we will explore the applications of Riemann surfaces in various fields of mathematics and science. Riemann surfaces have numerous applications in various fields of mathematics and science. One of the most important applications is in the study of complex analysis, which is the branch of mathematics that deals with complex functions. Riemann surfaces are used to study the behavior of complex functions, including their singularities, poles, and zeros. They are also used to study the properties of meromorphic functions, which are functions that are holomorphic except for a finite number of singularities. In algebraic geometry, Riemann surfaces are used to study algebraic curves, which are curves that can be described by algebraic equations. They are also used to study moduli spaces, which are spaces that parameterize families of algebraic curves. In number theory, Riemann surfaces are used to study the properties of elliptic curves, which are curves that can be described by cubic equations. They are also used to study the distribution of prime numbers, which is one of the most important problems in number theory. In physics, Riemann surfaces have applications in string theory, which is a theoretical framework that attempts to unify all the fundamental forces of nature. They are also used to study the behavior of fluids and gases, which have complex and nonlinear dynamics. In the final segment, we will summarize the key points of this video and provide some resources for further learning. In this video, we have explored the fascinating world of Riemann surfaces, their properties, and their applications in various fields of mathematics and science. We have learned that Riemann surfaces are compact, connected, and multi-valued surfaces that allow us to extend the concept of a complex function to a multi-valued function. We have also learned about the different types of Riemann surfaces, including the Riemann sphere, elliptic curves, hyperbolic surfaces, and algebraic curves. Each type of Riemann surface has its own unique properties and applications. Finally, we have explored the applications of Riemann surfaces in complex analysis, 
algebraic geometry, number theory, and physics. Riemann surfaces have played a crucial role in advancing our understanding of these fuels and have led to many important discoveries and breakthroughs. If you are interested in learning more about Riemann surfaces, there are many resources available online and in print. Some recommended resources include the book Riemann Surfaces by Simon Donaldson, the online course Riemann Surfaces and Algebraic Curves by Harvard University, and the research papers of Bernhard Riemann himself. Thank you for watching this video on Riemann Surfaces. We hope that you have gained a deeper appreciation for this fascinating topic and its many applications.